Dutch scientists served a hamburger made from the cow stem cells at a public tasting in London, making bioengineering and possibly culinary history. The patty was seasoned with salt, egg powder, breadcrumbs, red beet juice, and saffron. Taste testers said the lab-grown burger had the texture of beef, but was short on flavor because of the lack of fat. There's quite some intense taste. It's close to meat. It's not that juicy, but um, uh, the consistency is perfect. Developers said making meat in labs could eventually help feed the world and fight climate change. I think most people just don't realize that, that the current meat production is at its maximum and it's not going to supply sufficient meat for the growing demand in the coming uh, 40 years. So we need to come up with an alternative, there's no question. And this can be an ethical and environmentally friendly way to produce meat. The taste test came after five years of research. Scientists made the meat by placing muscle cells from cows in a Petri dish and growing them into new muscle tissue. According to Post, the world is about 20 years away from commercial production of in vitro beef. A conventional producer objected. All of my steak is 28 days matured. It's, um, you know, we, we, we slaughtered in the correct methods. If it comes out of a lab and it's grown, you know, in a, in a Petri dish, uh, it's not going to be able to achieve that same sort of flavor. There were two experimental patties produced, and each taste tester ate only half. Post said he was going to take the leftovers home to his children.